Hey YouTube, it's me again. First of all, I have a blast on on the portrait slam. Those of you who came, thank you very much. Now it's time to get right to business. I'm doing a review on Monday Night Raw, February the 25th, 2013. I know I'm late, am I? I'm getting all this stuff done. Okay, it starts with Vince coming out in the ring and clutches. He he talks about his fight with Paul Heyman. He wants to be in a street fight match and, and and he's in clutches. He calls out and I'm talking about Vince McMahon. He calls out Paul Heyman. Who he who he called the ultimate fighter. Paul Heyman calls out Wearing his jog and said like he ready to fight. Still talking smack. He wants to make sure he's okay, but yet he tackles Vince and wants to hit him with his own clutches. Vince finally blacks it. Hits him right back. And then that's Brock, why Brock Lesnar came out in this ring. Sticking his nose in, in between Paul Heyman and Vince. And then bullies Vince. Oh Lord. Vince try to tell him he's injured. Brock try to sit up here and toy with him. So Triple H comes Triple H comes out, fights back, busts his head wide open. Black first of all, Brock threw Triple H through a damn table. Brock grabs the track, Triple H got caught him off guard. Now he got the chair and hits Brock on the back. And he retreats. Now all of a sudden he's smiling. And I'm talking about Brock Lesnar. <laughs> oh my god. That was a crazy. That was one epic segment. I tell you. And then here's. Ryback versus Dolph Ziggler. Elix yet again got involved. Wise. And he was cooling. A AJ. He's just cooling. AJ distracts the ref. What the fuck? The, and then all that stuff, all that stuff they be doing, while they doing all that stuff, they cause Dolph Ziggler to match. So Ryback wins the match. They they so stupid, aren't they? AJ and e, e Links. Big E Links. Sid Peck goes in the ring. He wants to talk about John Cena and. And he, he wants to talk, make this whole conversation about John Cena and himself. However, he's trying to make this whole conversation about himself. Sam Punk, dude, seriously, really? He talks about him wanting to go to WrestleMania. He keeps saying how long he's been holding that title. 334 days. Okay, we get it, Sam Punk. Then he pinned The Rock, not once but twice, in four weeks. I didn't see that happen since when? Donald, oh, and Donald Trump is the inductee of Hall of Fame. He's a businessman, reality TV show. He created a Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino. Best selling actor. Biggest supporter of WWE since 1980. He won a hair versus hair match. And, and everybody loves Donald Trump. Okay, uh. I'm kind of okay with that. I, I, I don't know what to think about Donald Trump. I mean, he's not a wrestler. He only won one match of, of hair versus hair. I, I, all I can say is good for him. Mark Henry won. Mark Henry won against Great Khali. Did you see the size? Did you see that he picks up a giant? Have you ever heard of a man pick up a giant? <laughs> yeah, she did. Miz invited his his guests on Miz TV. Alberto the Real, the World Heavyweight Champion, with Ricardo Rodriguez and Jack Swagger with Zap Coulter. Okay, Zap Coulter gets to speak first. 
He's doing all that talking, and Jack Swagger just standing there. He said he felt like Doria and Rodriguez are illegals and undocumented workers. I'm like, and and and, and not, that's not it. The government is trying to reform them to be on the citizenship list. They they keep saying that they snuck across the borders to take our jobs. Is it just me or is Zeph Coulter is being racist in this show? WWE don't even... Since when did WWE allow racism? Mans ask Alberto Doria ask questions. Zep interrupts him. Why is he even talking? Alberto insists on telling Zep, Zep, letting Zep Coulter talk. Why? He ain't gonna do nothing but piss you off talking about illegal immigrants. Okay, it takes 10 years to become a citizenship of Me Mexico. And that's what Zeb Coulter it says. It's gotta take all the paperwork and the foreigner cannot own a property. Okay, that's some, that's, that's historically true. Here's what, he asks what's wrong with this people. That is so, it, it, it's racist. That shit is racist. And I don't see why people are allowing that. Um, Alberto represents success in American dreams. You're damn right he does. Alberto ends up beginning arguing. Alberto finally shut Zeb up. Zeb up. America belongs to everyone. And it's the land of opportunity. Everybody's here with a promise. And everything is possible. And that's what Alberto said. Not Zeb Coulter. Okay. He gave to Jack an opponent. Alberto gave Jack an opportunity to step up and they talk about see you at WrestleMania. You wasted all this time talking all that crap. But yet you don't back your words up. See this is what I hate about cowards. They they talk all that stuff and they don't back the words up. That's a damn problem. And during break Jack Swagger attacked the mask. Okay. Why did Jack Swagger attack the mask for some reason? Randy Orton versus Antonio Cesaro. The winner is Randy Orton with the RKO. Daniel and Kane started talking. Dan, oh, let's just get along. Let's buy, let's bygones be bygones. Kane was like, fine, but we need to concentrate. We got a tag team. Well, I guess I can beat the guys by myself. And, and I, I can beat the guys with, when I'm blindfolded. You guys are so stupid. And then, um, Kane was like, well, I can beat the guys by myself with one hand tied behind, tied around my back. They started arguing. Miss Excuse Me named Vicky Guerrero interrupts the bat. Interrupts them. Brad is, why is Brad even with her? Put this kind of right way. She made a stipulation to where Kane has to wear, have one arm tied behind, behind his, him. And Brian is blind, had to be blindfolded. This is Stan. But I won't be able to see. Vicky's like, that's the point. And I agree with Vicky on that. Y'all talk. Okay, he, I'm not worrying about Daniel, Brian, and Kane. I just hope they split up pretty soon because I'm sick and tired of them arguing. Seamus. The great white Seamus came out looking sharp. Why is he dressed up? Because he's going to do his little Oscar snub. <laughs> what I just found out about him, he's a movie lover. 
Oh my god, I didn't know that. He had problems with the Academy overlooking one of the greatest actors in the history, Wade Barrett. Great movie, but then Seamus shows him a bodyguard in the background. Wade Barrett. Okay, first of all, he's just a bodyguard. He's not no main character in the movie. He's just acting as a bodyguard. Wade Barrett comes in. He's not pissed off, but he's smiling. And I don't know why he's smiling. Wade is talking about Seamus and this whole situation should be about Wade and da 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 da. He talks about Seamus, jealous, but he don't seem jealous. Wade is going to attend the world premiere of A Dead Man Down. Well, good for Wade Barrett. Seamus warns Wade Barrett about paparazzis. And, he, and they going to catch his nose and stuff. Wade attacks Seamus. Ducks. Starts a bro kick and Wade leaves. Cody Rhodes versus R-Truth. Now R-Truth won. Damien Sandow going to go up there. Why Damien Sandow goes up in the ring and attack and try to attack our truth? But our truth fought him off this time. He caught him off guard and he fought him off. Kane and Kane and Daniel Bryan versus primetime players. Kane grabs the referee. Didn't even know who he is because oh, he's blind. Stupid Titus with his stupid whistle and steady blowing it. Darion had one too. That 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 ought to get Daniel Bryan confused. Titus look took him down. <laughs> Daniel roll out the ring. Kane helps him. Daniel accidentally hit him. Kane makes a tag. Lucky Team Hell No picks up the ring. The shield comes out in the ring. They talking about there's no peace in WWE until there's justice and honor. What the hell are you talking about, boys? Justice and honor. That's just like Ace and Ace talking about revenge and redemption. And they don't know what the hell they talking about. There y'all just running up there. And, and you too, Ace and Ace. Y'all just wanted up there attacking people for no damn reason. Justice and honor. Revenge and redemption. Get the heck out of here. They gotta have the nerve to challenge everyone to step to them. Oh, now you're gonna challenge somebody? Instead of hitting, doing all that hitting and running. Seamus comes out. You want to fight? The won't you come out here and fight me? They get ready. They coming out the ring. They go after him. Roman and Ambrose made a mistake leaving Seth Rollins. And then Randy called him off guard with an OKO. The Miz versus Jack Swagger. And Jack Swagger run with an ankle lock on Miz. Oh my god. That was to totally terrible. And John Cena versus CM Punk. Once again, John Cena is the winner and goes to WrestleMania to face Rock. That's all I got to say about Raw. What do you think about my comments? Until then, love you all and good night.